Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, I know that you guys saw this tutorial on my, like, my opinion on Posca pins. So you can see here is another Posca pin doodle, and I've got another one. Here's two more. So you see, when I color in with my Posca pins, I use, like, Simplicity or McCall's patterns designs, like, you know, the really pretty 1950s dresses, and I think, like, here's one too. And then I did do a video, like here's one that I was just experimenting with, trying it on a men's suit. And I did show you guys this one. I did like my initial uh, opinion on Posca pins on this dress right here, which was another Simplicity Doodle. But on this one, I'm going to teach you guys how I use Posca pins in general, like adding the folds and how I would add like the highlights and shadows and how I would accent with it. But I hope it helps and I hope you guys are able to enjoy Posca pins or paint pens in general. I have Posca pins, that's what I bought, but I believe this will be able to work with any other sort of paint pens or acrylic paint pens like Sharpie or I think Arteza has some. The main thing you get one to get is the actual sketch down and you see that I roughly made the lines of the dress. I was kind of thinking maybe I can Disney bound this to kind of look like Tiana. So you just get the basic sketching outlines around and when you go in to like fill in the actual folds, so let's say like we have this cross section that's across going across your chest and kind of crisscrossing in the middle. So I'll just go in and you kind of roughly make those ruffles on top of her shoulders. The point is when you're fabric drawing, nothing at all should remain straight. Everything has a fold, so everything should be curving or morphing into each other. So I just, I kind of go off of what the pattern looks like, but I like to make my own look as well. And she has this little bodice piece in the front. So this crosses here. So it's crossing in front here, and it's coming back here. And then this one's crossing over here. So I lightly went ahead and just erased her arm lines so I can make these big poofies. So with the poofy, sleeves that kind of go like this, kind of got that Snow White vibe, goes out. Just want to mark off where my folds are going to go. Next I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and I'm just going to kind of lightly pick up those eraser lines. And then I will line her face and her skin and her hands, but I'll kind of leave out not lining the dress or the material. And that'll just be saved for the Posca pins. what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a darker green Posca pen and I'm going to go in and actually highlight where the folds are for the darker part. So I'll probably go in right here and fill this in here. All these U lines that I made, probably go ahead and fill those in a little bit more. You can always see your reference. And that kind of helps with like 
the lining parts, and don't worry about erasing too much. You can take like a kneaded eraser or lightly erase some parts, but the paint markers should be able to go right in and just take away those pencil lines. So I try to imagine where the darker points are, and that's where I go in with my Posca pens. I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade, so I'm gonna take this kind of a leafy green and I'm gonna go on top of those shadows that I created and I'm going to like minimally, minimally go on top of where I shaded with my green and it kind of makes a contrast. It is definitely making a contrast of both colors, but it come, it, when I go on top and I kind of go up, it gives that almost like phantom lines like we don't not exactly over here I'm not lining it but you can see that when I add the light color green on top of the the dark green it creates just a really a cool kind of phantom line. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it but this highlight this would be considered like a mid-tone it's not my highlight but it is kind of my highlight but I'm leaving the white spaces as my highlights. So I'm gonna keep coloring all around, that way you guys can see a better example instead of jibber-jabbering all about it. thing that I'll do to accent everything is add like some warm grays or some cool grays whatever you like I like to use like neutral colors for skin and hair because it kind of brings out the color of the dress a little bit more and gives it a huge contrast so I'll go ahead and do that and show you guys
And there you guys go. There is how I would use my Posca pens, or in general, this would work with any kind of paint pens. And maybe I can show you guys how I do like my floral wreaths or accent with florals using my Posca pens or my um, amazing gouache. And I'll show you guys how I add that. I hope you guys will tune in later and I will see you all. Bye.